Hi, it's Natasha. Today I'm going to go over Lulasana or pendant pose with you. Um, you'll need some props, a pair of blocks, the bigger and taller the better for you, um, socks for sliding, a yoga wheel or a little stability ball, um, but ideally a foam roller is actually a nice and low height which gives you probably the takeoff, if any, you're gonna get from Lulasana. So a wheel and a ball is, is gonna be higher, but you'll still be working the same muscles. So if you have something low to roll on, great. If not, just work with what you have. Okay, so for Lulasana, there's a lot of weight on the wrists, and it's quite a deep lean over. So I'm going to stretch out your wrists a little bit just to prep you. Again, any wrist stretches that you like to take or are in your wheelhouse, your favorites, go for that. Otherwise, I'm just simply gonna come to tabletop, do some different rocking in different directions, flip the palms upside down, get a nice counter stretch and a wiggle. I always like those um, finger blinking exercises to fire up the forearms. So just prep the wrists for about a minute. We, it, is, it is a tough one on the hands and wrists. All right, so after you feel like you've done enough wrist stretching, we're gonna work on the protraction of the shoulders that it's gonna take. In Lolasana, what we're really going for is the traps and the back working as, and the shoulders as hard as the core and your compression. So we're trying to get our thighs to our chest, which is gonna take some hip flexor strength, core strength to lift the hips up as you push the shoulders down. Um, I'll just demo it really quickly on blocks. Your hands will go in line with the knees, so common mistake is just having the hands in the wrong place. And then we're gonna to try to push down as hard as we can as we pull the knees into the chest. Squeezing everything takes really a ton of core strength and a ton of back and shoulder strength. Um, and right now, we're just gonna set you up for the protection of the shoulders. So in tabletop, we're gonna sink, retract, and then protract, pushing as hard as you can and then firming the belly in and up. So you can just start in tabletop and do these, and as you progress, you'll do that in plank. I'll see if you can see what I'm doing a little clear, more clearly this way, touch, push away, retract, <sighs> protract. Shoulder blades together, shoulder blades separate. So it's a really strong action there of protracting. So here's what it looks like in plank, nice strong body, retract, protract, retract, <sighs> exhale, inhale, and exhale, cat cow. Round the spine, here's your deep protraction, and then arch, stretch the belly out. Exhale, round and push, 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 push. Inhale, exhale. Use core strength to round the spine, to push the shoulders down, shoulder and traps. Good, exhale, squeeze everything here. All right, again, you might counter stretch the wrist there. Um, next thing we'll do, is just practice the compression. So we'll come into seated and work some boat navasana for core. We're gonna practice hugging the heels in. So we'll start with this tuck where you're actually holding the legs. Then can you let the legs go without them flopping off? So we're using our quads and our hip flexors to curl in. And then let's push the palms out, push the shoulders forward and see if there's space here. You can cross the legs. So it's Lolasana where you cross the legs and hug in. This top foot can help pull down a little bit stronger. That's why the crossing of the legs is a little helpful. And then switch, take five breaths in each placement. Push the shoulders forward, hug the heels and the knees to the chest. Squeeze everything. See how compact you can make your body. The more you work on these drills, the stronger you're gonna get. So we hug it in and we push away and just continue working this. So you wanna get this clearance so you can do that when you're on the floor. So a lot of times people will say, oh, my arms are just too short and they can't, and 
and I used to think that as well. But really, everyone can get lovasana. It's just gonna be harder if your arms are shorter. You'll have to work a little harder than people that have long arms. So it does come easier for some body types and harder for others. It also depends on if you can compress, if your hip flexors are strong enough to hug your knees into the chest and your core. So there's a lot of things to work on, but it is possible, okay? So you might be doing it with blocks for years and then you might get a little lift off. Really just, it takes a lot of work. <laughs> Let's come on to the back, same drill. You can work on hugging the quads in and the heels down. You can stay down and then you could try to lift off and hold for a few breaths here. <sighs> Switch legs, start with the compression, shoulders reaching up, then tuck the chin and hold here. Squeeze, pull the belly and hug the heels in. Push, 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 breathe, 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 and release. Do that a few times. We're really firing all the muscles that it takes as well, so you will have more success when you try it. So going into something cold and trying to do it when you're not fired, when the muscles aren't fired, is just really challenging. So every time you want to try something hard, like pressing into handstands or low loss now, jump throughs, backs, it's always a good idea to warm everything up. The, the wrists, the shoulders, the core, all the muscles it takes. Um, so those are some compression drills to practice and warm up with. Um, next, let's go ahead and just start on our blocks. And we'll work with blocks, knee height, Spread your fingers wide, lean forward, and make yourself into this nice compressed little child's pose ball. And then we'll work on pushing away and keep the toes tucked under. So it might be a little uncomfortable on the feet, but the idea is you're pressing so firmly into the hands that you're light on the feet. Push, 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 and lower, lower, lower down. This is also going to build bicep strength for your jump back. So push away until your arms are straight and then lower down with control, biceps slowing you down. Good, try that a few times. You could do everything five to 10 times, use the breath to push, zip, root lock the belly in. It's also a nice way to work on rollovers. Sometimes I'll teach my classes as you push down, roll over the toes, just like when you are coming from up dog to down dog, if that's in your practice and you're trying to work on making your feet light, using your arm strength to roll over. One more time, exhale, push, 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 maybe roll over, and then roll back, press, use the core, keep the hips high, then bend the elbows to come down. We could do one leg at a time, where you're trying to lift, so just a lot of drill ideas. Lift, trying to keep this other knee hugging in. Compression, compression, and release. So maybe you do about 10 of those. All right, next exercise, we'll do the same type of work on either a wheel, a ball, or a roller. And we're going to walk the hands shoulder width apart and then practice hugging the knees in, but also up to the chest. So exhale, pull in, and then push down through the shoulders, protection, hug, 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 hug. Come back. Exhale, push down, spread the fingers, use the whole hand, lift the hips, and bring it back. Hard stuff. Do, you're really gonna need to use all of your strength on this, on this pose. There's no getting around it. Exhale, pull in and then push the shoulders down, lift the hips up. Maybe you play here a little bit. And release it back. Counter, stretch those wrists. Give them some ease and relief. All right. So you might be working on these drills again for years before you get a lift up. But if you're consistent in your practice and you want something bad enough, you will get there. Okay, practicing with blocks again. And an easier way to get into lolasana would be to come up from the toes so you don't have to lift yourself all the way up from the ground. 
So maybe practicing from here. We're gonna push the shoulders down, cat the back, squeeze the belly in, quads and hip flexors active. And we're gonna shift into the hands, press the shoulders down, and then see if you can just float up here, squeeze, 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 release. Another little cheat that might help just a tiny bit is to try and press your knees into the arms. So we're pressing outward. Um, it might help you get an extra second, uh, but eventually you'll probably need to be able to hold that without because that's it still takes a lot of strength. Press the shoulders down, lean into it, round the back, see if you can lift those hips, squeeze everything in and up. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna release, relax the wrists. Circle them out, maybe sit on the forearms, give them a squeeze. So that is basically Lovasana. It's about rounding the spine, protracting the shoulders, engaging and root locking the belly in and up. It takes a lot of strength. You, for the jump throughs and backs, a nice way to practice them is simply trying to walk through and back. It'll give you that same compression strength. So find your blocks, push the shoulders down, and try to walk through without lifting up the arms. On the way back, same thing. You'll hug the knees into the chest, start to push the shoulders down to swing the hips up and walk back. And you'll find that it's quite challenging. Your arms are gonna wanna lift. Press it through, I have nice tall blocks, so it's making it a little bit easier. As you hug the knees in, push the shoulders down to get that lift of the hips and then crawl backwards. Another great way is sliding. Makes it much easier to get through. So I'll put these socks on. Move your gonna move my sticky mat out of the way. And we can work here. Start with a nice, strong, protracted shoulder in your plank, and then start to drag the knees in. You can cross the legs and see if you can slip the feet and the hips through. On the way back, same thing. Push the shoulders down, plug the belly in, lift the hips. And it's hard, so you might get stuck today. Do the best you can. In your jump back, the difference here is that you are gonna tip forward as the elbows bend into chaturanga. It's this counterbalance action of pressing the hips back and then bending the elbows forward and the chest forward. Okay, so practice that quite a few times. Hug in, squeeze the belly, slip through, inhale, exhale, shoulders down, lift the hips. You might get stuck, wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then as the feet go back, the chest goes forward and the elbows bend into chaturanga. All right, again, counter stretch the wrists. I'm going through these quickly. I'm trying to make these tutorials quick, but take your time to pause or take notes and just practice these drills until you build up the strength. All right, so I'm gonna show you the jump through and jump back with blocks. And there's a couple ways to do it. If you have the control of your handstand, you could try to handstand and then tuck through ever so slowly, or you can just try to jump, squeeze everything in, and slide through. So, I'll show you the jump through. Bend back, hug the knees into the chest, protract the shoulders, and then whoo, slip through your all sit. Again, have a seat. If your blocks are close together, just sit forward. To come back, shoulders down, hips back. All right, so we'll lift the legs. We'll press the shoulders down, hug the knees into the chest, swing the hips back, take the chest forward as you hit chaturanga. So inhale, exhale, lift, swing, and then jump back. Takes a lot of bicep strength, which is completely different than when you're doing the jump forward and trying to hit lolasana. That's why I think some people 
are either, if their arms are stronger, the jump back might be easier. If your core and back body and shoulders are stronger, the jump through might be easier. And then it also just depends on how much you can compress the body. All of it takes a lot of practice. So again, I'll show the jump through. And I, I like to first, when I was first learning the jump back, I like to just practice from Lolasana. So here, press the earth away. As I lean forward, I bend the elbows and charge the gaze and heart forward. So it's this whole counter swing and jump back, okay? Same thing as when you're doing a jump back from the mat. As you jump the hips back, you kind of send the heart forward as you bend the elbow. So that's the same idea. You're jumping back and then you're bending the elbows, charging the heart and gaze forward. So it's like this swinging action. All right, so lots of ways to practice. It just takes time. It just takes time to build that strength. The last time through, I can show you the slower version. If you have more of a handstand practice and you're working on slow control, jump up into handstand. Push the earth away, squeeze the belly in, squeeze, 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 slip through. And then on the way back, hug it in, bend the elbows, heart forward, jump forward, back, jump back, chaturanga, exhale. <sighs> All right, there's no magic formula. You just need to learn what muscles to engage and then practice like crazy and believe that you can do it. And over time, you will get there. Please leave me any questions that you may have. I'm happy to help. Um, this is a tough one. I have a hard time getting through and back without blocks still. Um, I, my arms are strong, so I can go from this uh, lalasana to jump back. <sighs> but I struggle to compress my body and make it through without kind of dragging. So some people may never get exactly the clearance they're looking for but you'll be able to get Lolasana. I believe in you, keep practicing. Again, let me know if you have any questions. Give this a thumbs up if any of these tips helped you, and I'll see you next time, bye.